is Tyler with T-Jack Survival. Uh, most of my videos are survival and outdoor related. Now, recently I've had a lot of requests about how to edit, what type of equipment do I use, all of the other half of what it takes to make a YouTube channel. I, I've had a little time on my hands and I'm trying to do some videos that are just quick and to the point with regards to editing and specifically to hacks, things that will speed your editing up substantially. So this is a little hack that I I, I learned about it and then I had an idea and put the two together which gave me this solution. So essentially what it is is this. You've got, um, you've got some horrible footage. Here I have in the assembly tab on Adobe Premiere Pro some horrible footage. Now what happened with this horrible footage is this. I was underneath the bridge, I was doing some filming, I came out underneath the bridge and I just kept filming and my settings were all off so you can see everything's burnt and horrible looking. Um, and I want to correct it. I want a little more systematic look to the footage that I've got. Now I can go into the color tab and I can adjust it manually and change all those things which is a real pain in the butt. But it is so much nicer when I can get a solid base to start from instead of having to go from nasty to perfection. And for me it's just much easier to, to do it this way. I had the idea uh, now that uh, you can go to the color tab in, in Adobe and let me drop this on the timeline. You have the color match, color wheels and match guy right over here and apply match. Essentially what this does is it takes the look of one picture or video and it makes it look like that on the other. Real simple. The way you get that to that again is the color tab, color wheels and match, and apply match. But first, we're gonna go back over here underneath assembly. You don't have to, but I like to and we're gonna import the thing that I want it to look like. Now what I did is I went to uh, Matty, I can't say his last name, Apoja. I went to his channel and I said, you know what, I like the look of this picture. I grabbed a snap, uh, snipping tool, clicked new, highlighted the part that I wanted, saved it, I'm gonna close this because I've already saved it. Saved it to the desktop right here, okay? And this gives my Adobe software something to emulate, something that I want my software to look like. So we import it, here's actually two pictures. I took two pictures off of two, for two different examples. And you can, you can kind of dig through and create yourself a little folder on your desktop or wherever that says, I want my footage to look like this JPEG. I want my footage to look like that JPEG. And you can just have that work like Lutz would in that it will emulate what those pictures look like. Okay, so Adobe crashed. It does that. Sometimes when you, you click between assembling, assembling, editing color and effects, it'll crash. A good suggestion is to go file, save, then start moving around. So if it does crash, you're good to go. So because it crashed before I saved my timeline, I'm gonna drop this in again. I have the crappy footage right there that I want to emulate. Now I'm going to go over to color. Okay, so we're in the color settings. Normally what you would do is you go to basic correction, you would do your white balance, change your highlights and tones and mess with, with this thing until you found what it what looked good. The problem is for me, that is so hard. That is something that my eyes don't just automatically click. Like I'll be able to see the green in the trees need to go away, but then I'll have too much red in the face and it's just not something that I'm good at. So this idea hopefully will help other people like me. I'm gonna grab one of these pictures that I grabbed from earlier, put it on the timeline, stretch it out a bit, and I'm gonna put one above the other and my little timeline, whatever this thing's called, uh, right over the top of both. Now what I'm gonna do with this is, um, let me come over here and source clips. Okay, what I'm gonna do with this is this. I'm gonna click on this main picture and then I'm gonna go over to the little plus sign because right now I don't have my uh, comparison view on there. So I'm gonna click on comparison view, click OK. That'll give me the comparison view button or at least it's supposed to but it hasn't. So the other way to do that is this. We're gonna come over to color wheels and match and click on comparison view. Now as you can see my picture, my JPEG, which was really small, uh, doesn't quite fit the screen. So really quick under effect controls because I have that one highlighted, I have the scale over here. I'm gonna make it big enough that it fits the screen and then go back to work. Now I don't wanna make it 
so big that it does something like this. Otherwise, it'll if you have a, a picture with a lot of green right here, it might not correct it as, as well as you want it to because it doesn't have as much data in a small place as it does in a larger place. So ideally, it's best to use bigger pictures than what I've even been using here, but uh, take what you can get. So now, as you can see, as I slide this over, since it's in comparison view, now I can see both of them. And I wanna be able to see my face in there. So I'm gonna slide this even further here, right? I stretch this puppy out, okay? Get that out the front. The key is, and I had to learn this the hard way, whatever you've got on this left side is gonna be what's at the beginning of your timeline. So your example should be at the beginning of your timeline and the thing that you want to correct should be somewhere behind it, okay? So we've got a good spot where my ugly mug is right there. Now all that I'm gonna do is under the color tab, color wheels and match, in comparison view, I push, I push apply match. Okay, see how that substantially corrected my horrible footage. All that it did was it made this bad stuff look like this good stuff. Now what you can do is you can go to YouTube, find yourself something amazing, take whatever pictures you want and say, I want my footage to look like this thing or like this thing or whatever pops up next. Take a JPEG of it or even strip the video, run it through Adobe Premiere Pro, um, save before I move. Go to the assembly tab, click on this little button right here. It'll take a picture and leave it on your desktop. That would be the best way to get the largest file. Whatever you do, get yourself a good quality example JPEG. Go to the color settings as it crashes again. Go to the color settings, hit your comparison view, make this picture look like this. Now I can slide this little guy out of the road and you can see now that that right there looks much much better than it did before it's still not amazing hey 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 <laughs> but it's way better than it was before so hopefully this is valuable to you um if it was leave some comments down in the com in the comment box if you've got some little things that you've been struggling with let me know because this next week or two i'm going to be making videos like this and uh after we're done with this stuff, I'll be back to doing my regular survival related things. But between now and then, I wanted to show some hacks. I wanted to show some things that should make your life easier when editing so that you can spend more time outside. Thank you for watching TJ Survival.